part also that you will serve the Lord as well. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. Finally, let's call on Pastora. Para di bagay, Pastora Joan I would I would like to start with the <laughs> no emotionalism now. <laughs> um, I would like to start with the Blessed Mary's um, exclamation when she said, um, "My soul magnifies the Lord. I rejoice in God, my Savior, for He has done great things and He has been mindful of His servant." Um, um, ever since my husband was called to the ministry of being a pastor, I will, I will not lie. It's very hard. It's very hard. It's, a, it's very hard to be a pastor's wife. I've seen things and experienced things a lot in the church that that um, responsibility comes with. And I have always, God has always been my comforter. He has always told me to keep obeying Him. And one day He said that I would, I am called to be a pastor like my husband. I said, what? <laughs> I didn't want it. Ayoko po talaga. But I, I only, I live for one purpose. To bring glory to God, to obey Him in everything, in everything. And I will tell you, church, I have never been persecuted outside. I have never been persecuted from my work. But I have always been persecuted in the church. But I remain, I will remain steadfast because I know that as God lives, His kingdom is unshaken. He will help me have an unshakable faith. Together with my husband, I know more persecutions will come, more trials will come. But I look forward to them because in those persecutions, God's faithfulness, God's power will be displayed all the more for His glory alone. Amen. Um, I can only promise my dear brothers and sisters that I would try in my capacity in what little I know about this ministry to I'm still me. Ako pa rin po to, yung matari po na Sister John, but I know thank you God is changing us from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.